According to EU law, website owners are now required to make site visitors aware if their website uses cookies. This is to give the visitors the chance to opt out of viewing the site if they don't want their information to be stored. One way of doing this is by inserting a cookie control script into your site. This places a widget on your website which will inform visitors that your website uses cookies and explains how that will affect them. Adding this script will ensure that both you and your website are complying with UK and EU legislation. We'll learn how to do this now. The script we're going to use comes from Civic UK. Open a web browser and type the website URL that you can see on your screen now in the address bar at the top. Click Return. Scroll down to the What is Cookie Control section and click Grab your code. If you scroll down the page, you'll see a variety of plans are available for you to choose from. It's a good idea to read the benefits and see which plan would be best for you, but for now we're going to stick with the free plan. In the free plan section, click Configure. On this page, you can customise your cookie control widget so that it meets your requirements. It is possible to set up the widget before you publish your site, but it won't appear until it's published. Also, it's a good idea to set up your web hosting first, so you know what your domain name is going to be. In the Domain section, type your domain name in full. Next, select which compliance model you want the cookie widget to use. Read the information provided to ensure your chosen model will match your requirements. You can choose to make the cookie widget pop up by default when the page loads, and also set up the length of time you wish the widget to show for. Now you can choose your widget style, position, theme and background. The dynamic preview will update to reflect your changes, so you can see exactly how the widget will look. OK, let's give our widget a title. This is the text that will appear on the widget before it's expanded. The dynamic preview we looked at just now will update displaying your text, so you can see how it looks inside the widget. You'll also be able to provide some introductory text and additional text to explain cookies in a little more detail. There'll already be some text in the box which you can use as a guide, but feel free to expand on this if you want to. Next, you'll need to provide the URL to your privacy or cookie policy. This is likely to be a page on your site which explains how the site manages or collects data and how that data is used. All of the templates that come with WebPlus include a privacy policy page, which you can customise to meet your requirements. The Countries to Show Cookie Control option isn't available on the free plan, but if you're using any of the other plans, you can enter the countries for which you want the widget to appear. Leaving the field blank means the widget will appear for all users from all countries. The next option will depend on the compliance option you chose earlier. If you chose implied or explicit consent and gave site visitors the chance to opt out or in respectively and they chose to opt out, this option means that any cookies your site already stored in their computer will be deleted. If you're not sure, ensure yes is selected. If you're using Google Analytics, enter your Google Analytics key here. Enter your email address and then choose a password. Your password can be anything, but it's a good idea to choose something you can easily remember. Finally, choose whether you want to receive updates from Civic and read the terms and conditions. If you're happy, confirm you agree with them and click Collect your code. OK, now we can collect the code which will add to WordPlus. There are two parts to the code, so make sure you collect them both. In step 2 on the right, click download the cookie control script here and follow your browser's instructions to download the script. I'm using Internet Explorer and I want to save the script to my desktop so I can easily access it later. To do this, I'll click the arrow next to save and choose save as and then navigate to my desktop. Then I'll click save. To collect the second part of the code, Click inside the box on the left and then right click and select copy. Now we need to configure the cookie control widget in WebPlus. Open your site on the home page. From the view menu, 
Click Page HTML Source. Place your cursor just after Master Page Head. If, like me, you've got multiple master pages in your site, it might display as Master A Head. Press Return, then right click and select Paste. The cookie code will be displayed. You will need to delete the Path to Cookie Control section, as I'm demonstrating now. Take care to delete the correct section or the code will not work. Then click Close Editor at the top. That was the first part of the code, now we need to configure the second part. From the Tools menu at the top, select Site Manager and then File Manager. Ensure Root is selected and then click Add File. Navigate to your desktop or where you save the file and select it. And then click Open. The file will appear in the list. Click Close to exit the dialog. The code has now been successfully configured. To see the widget in action, you'll need to publish your site. On the standard toolbar, click the down arrow next to Publish Site and select Publish to Web. If you're publishing for the first time, see the Web Hosting 2 Configuring Web Plus video for step by step instructions. Once your site is live, you'll see the widget in action. Well, that's all for this video. To find out more about WordPlus, see the Learn section of the Startup Assistant. Thanks for watching.